Hey Lovers, um, welcome back to my channel guys if you're, anyway, um, so today I'm just going to, uh, just make a video, um, I first want to say thank you to everybody that actually reached out to me, um, this is definitely not about me, but some of you may or may not have heard, um, the unexpected um news um and then there's quite a bit of people have heard that um I'm gonna just say it and then I'll kind of go back that uh Miss Linda from Birdie Birdie's Baby Birdie's Baby sorry <laughs> sorry um, Miss Linda from Birdie's Babies passed away. Um, and, uh, I guess it's most shocking because, you know, she just made a video and, uh, her last video actually said, and I know she didn't mean it that way when she said it, it said, last box opening, I promise. It's always, to me, I always find that it's always something so crazy, like, leads up to the events or something, like, when stuff like this happened. So, um, we had, I don't even remember the days now, because all the days are running into each other, but we had stayed up, we was chatting, like, late, so... Even though we were chatting really late at night, and sometimes we'll chat like it'd be like two or three o'clock in the morning because you know I wake up crazy times and you know anyway, so um so anyway, so I um we we had been you know chatting or whatever. So the next day I got up and I noticed she hadn't posted nothing around five AM. And then I noticed that by noon, I still haven't like seen her like anything, comment on anything, post anything. So I made a post, I don't know what time, in my paid membership. And I said, had anybody heard from her. So I don't know, in my gut, something just, it just didn't set right. And I know it was just like, I kept saying to myself, okay, you're being extra dramatic because... We literally just talked last night. Maybe she's sleeping in. Maybe because she stayed up late. But I'm like, we all, she always up different times and hours and still post. So when the whole day went by, my heart really was like sinking. Like I could not focus throughout my day without keep thinking like, wonder if she's okay. Like, and then I went through almost all my messages trying to find, like, maybe she was going to have a procedure done or something. And she told me and I forgot because I'm very forgetful. <clears throat> so I checked where we message both on, you know, all the different places where we, we will message and stuff. And it was like so many messages. I was like, oh my gosh, after a while, I just couldn't keep going back. And I was like, okay. So then I think day two, by day two, I was messaging other people that I know she said she was close to. They hadn't heard anything. I think it was day three. My first grandson was being born. Well, he, she was, we were doing the labor and stuff. In between, you know, dealing with my daughter, I was steady checking online. Then I started looking through invoices and Things where we did business transactions, trying to find a phone number for her. And then I reached out to somebody else that I knew that if nobody else hadn't, had, hadn't talked to her, this person would have. And um, I got some information. And I know a lot of people want to know, like, the what's the, and, and all that details of stuff. And I, I just, me personally, if somebody else shares that, that's on them. But me personally, I don't feel like that's my place to share that information. I feel like her family, if they want to share the details of how she died, 
then that's their right to do that, not mine. So even the, the small amount of information that I have, I, I just can't share that with anyone. Um, um, it, it, it doesn't help anyway. It doesn't help the ending. It doesn't change that she's not here. So, um, but yeah, so, so I was driving, I was driving yesterday. <laughs> Sorry. So I was driving yesterday uh, to drop Gabby off so I can go out back to the hospital with my daughter. And I kept saying, like, I felt guilty for not sending flowers because I was like, I should send flowers to her house, but I was like, I'm going to wait till she get home because I don't want her to have to keep, I don't want her to have to get up to try to go to the door if she's not feeling well. So I'll wait to hear from her and then I'll send them. Right as I was thinking that, I got a message. I got a message and I when I got the message I couldn't believe that it was just like so unfair so it um it's really shocking um so Miss Linda um it's funny because when I first, Miss Linda first started commenting on my stuff, like on my posts and stuff, um, she would say little things and sometimes she would say stuff that I'd be like, now is that a compliment or not? Because <laughs> she would make little posts like she'll, she'll I mean, like comments like sometimes she'll be like, yeah, <laughs> like, and, and then this is not exact, like, but she'll say something like, yeah, it's cute, just like a bird or something. And I'll be like, like I don't know, like is it a cute bird or is you trying to be funny? So I was like, okay, I think she means well, but um, you know, she, so she would com comment and stuff, and then we end up chatting and stuff. And she told me one time, she said, you know, I've been following you for several years, years, but I never. I had the, you know, I just never commented up anything on YouTube or anything like that. And she was a private collector for a long time. But she was like, so she, you know, she started enjoying posting or whatever on Facebook. So whenever I would do a box over there, I'm sure she does this for other people. She would send you a video of the box opening private. And, um, so I would get the video. So I got the video. So it was the first time I ever heard her voice and stuff like that. So, and everything. So, um, she was just, she was, she was like so funny, but, um, one day, you know, we were talking and she said, you know, I, I was thinking maybe I could do YouTube, you know, and I was telling her, yeah, you know, cause she has like an amazing collection, like. If you haven't checked out her channel, go look at her videos. She has like every type of doll. Like, so it's like, I'm like, I would love to see your BJD collection on video and, you know, and stuff or whatever. So, you know, when she first started doing her videos, I would share her videos and stuff and just, you know, try to get people to go in to check her out because she was just, you know, just really a cool person, had a real cool collection. But it's funny because, you know, it was like, 
she had like no filter so to speak and she said what she meant and she meant what she said and it was but she would always be funny she was kind she would uh comment on everybody posts and like everybody and you know she had her favorite sculptor um and she didn't care if people said the babies wasn't cute whatever she she loved them and you know she she loved you know she loved what she loved and she always supported me in anything that I did and um I you know my first uh I've been looking into BJDs and I had ordered one finally ordered one but we have been talking about the different ones because I liked hers and so um one day she sent me, <laughs> she sent me my first, my first BJD. Well, I bought one long time ago and then I had returned it. Not returned it, sorry, not returned it, sold it. Um, but she sent me my first BJD and it had, you know, face up and all that stuff, which I have in my cabinet now. And, um, I don't know, she's this amazing person. Um, I just, you know, I feel like. It's a huge loss for us as a community. Um, she's bought from so many different artists all over the world. And every artist that I know of have enjoyed, you know, doing business with her. Um, so, yeah, so I don't mean to uh, make it sad or anything like that but you know it's still fresh i'm still a little in shock um you know it's it's this thing where you know people um you know some of the the the, the hardest loss that i've had has been the least expected right because i always say this sometimes someone you could barely know it can have so much impact on your life or a certain part of your life or an area or in your life that um you could be there known somebody there's people I've known all my life and I, I promise you I can't share one powerful story <laughs> between them and and me. Like it's like, yeah I know so and so okay. Not that I'm saying that I would not be sad if someone passed away that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying certain people impact your life differently um i i had i lost a friend um a couple of years ago and i feel like part of the reason i still do youtube today is because of her and um she was such a motivator or whatever and stuff and people they people think that you have to be in someone's house in someone's face you know um every day all day for you to care about them to genuinely love them or respect them as a person etc etc but it doesn't work like that um i not we had talked about meeting Um, but we hadn't did that. So I just know her from online and, um, not just from her buying my babies, but us chatting and <laughs> the comments and stuff. Uh, she was just always real funny and her reactions to stuff was just really funny. And, um, but here's the, the good part. I always try to find something good and positive to kind of focus on a little bit to take a little bit of the sting away but the good thing is is that she never had planned to do YouTube and now she's done so many videos and that is something that her family can go back and watch even if they're not into dolls because she talked about her family in those videos she talked about her sister she talked about her brother you know, she talked about her husband. So, 
those are videos that they have that they can always go back and look at. It's it's really valuable more than ever now. So um Yeah, so I don't I wanna say rest in peace or rest in heaven or rest in sleep or whatever y'all say. But I I I think if I start saying that it's it means it's real. <laughs>